Hello, and a very warm welcome back to episode 7 of the Valley of the Old Farm, with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm and the Vintage Series. We are in the Fent, and it's November the 2nd, so we have rolled on to the next game day since the last episode, but I haven't done much really. What I have done in the back though here is, I have now got... Uh, 11,400 litres of oats, which I have bought um, from the shop. And what we're going to do, we're going to put them in the mill here. What I also did is I took as many of the sunflowers we had from our harvest and our contracts, and they have been put into here as well. So there was 27,000 litres of um, sunflowers put into here. So this is chugging away doing all that. So what I need to do now is get all this in here and then we can start making flour as well. So yeah, we've got three crates here just now so I'm going to have to come and get uh, these at some point but what we'll do, as you can see, 26,648 so I'm going to put this on and I'm going to put this on to distribute Um, there we go. So put that to distribute, and then that can go straight down to our bakery. Now up the bakery, we've got our sugar in there just now, seven thousand liters. So that's all processed. Um, so once we've got flour, we will need milk, um, eggs, butter. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create some sort of dairy, I think, um, which is going to be interesting. Um, I've downloaded a couple of options which should work, so we might put that in this episode, we'll see, maybe the next one. So let's get this out of here, and then we'll get back to the farm, because at the end of the last episode we were cutting the alfalfa and I have not finished cutting the grass on that field yet and um, I've obviously swapped tractors around so the zeta is attached to the mowers just now so we need to finish that off so we'll cut that and then we'll get the tedder out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ted half the field of alfalfa and I'm going to leave the rest uh, and the tethered stuff is going to be turned into alfalfa bales and the the loose stuff is just going to be stored in a shed and we're going to feed that to the sheep. That way I've got some alfalfa hay that I could potentially sell at some point and then we've also got um, the just straight alfalfa to feed to the sheep. So I think what we'll do, we'll see you down at the main farm and uh, yeah, we'll get uh, get cracking with this grass work, I guess. Okay then, into the alfalfa we go. Like I said, I didn't have much left to do, um, but I thought I'd leave it overnight and get this uh, last little bit done, because it was starting to rain again <laughs> last night. There is more rain in the forecast, but it's uh, not as bad today. I think I missed a little bit over here as well, so let's quickly get that. There it is, look. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to put these mowers over here just now. We will need them again because uh, we've got the grass to cut as well. So I think. I'm going to just leave them just here just now. Okay. Oops. There we go. And next bit that we need is the tether. So, tether's right at the back there. I've got the fence over here ready with the baler when we need it, but we need to do this job first. Okay. 
So if I unfold that, and we'll get this. Uh, I think I'll go from about here. Work. And that's creating alfalfa hay, which is nice. So we'll go up and down this, we'll get this uh, once this is done, then we'll get the rower on it as well. We'll get it all rowed up. Then we can get some uh, hopefully this is uh these bits on the side aren't gonna interfere with it too much. We should be okay I think. So, I am about to go on holiday, so the following, I'm thinking, probably three episodes will be pre-recorded um, before, uh, so I, I, I will sort of record three back-to-back -back, uh, without publishing them. So, that will obviously mean that anything that you comment on in between will not necessarily um, be, com be uh, reacted to on any of the videos uh, until yeah, a few episodes in. The I'm going on holiday for two weeks so and obviously before going on holiday the last few weeks have been really busy as well so um, the channel has slowed down a little bit. Um, do you still appreciate everyone's support and everything? Um, so yeah, hopefully we can pick things up a bit more uh, once I come back from family halls. But the uh, the important thing really is uh, I need a bit of a, re a rest, uh, a bit of a break. What is going on here? So yeah, definitely some odd colours going on here. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm still absolutely loving this uh, this map. It is beautiful, and um, I think Rusty Money Gaming the other other week put a poll on his uh, Facebook page um, and said which is your favourite map at the moment, and uh, this was one of them, and it got the vote uh, from a, a lot of people actually. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I commented and said I think black sheep, all the black sheep modern stuff's amazing. This um, uh, fantastic, fantastic attention to detail and just the whole thing works. It just uh, it's great, functional, looks good. Is uh, some great stuff. Right, not much more to do. Like I said, once this is done, we'll get the wind drawer out and we'll get uh, the rest of the. Uh, we'll get this uh, all windrowed up. And then we can move on to the bailing. So I think I'll set up a short time lapse with the windrow in and. Yeah. Then we'll collect it. Uh, we'll start bailing up this uh, this hay.
There we go then folks, got the alfalfa windrowed and uh, tethered and yeah we're now in the process of getting it all uh, bailed up. As you saw from the wee time lapse we got some alpha, straight alfalfa into the, into the sheep as well. Um, but uh, that tractor doesn't work very well with that um, A fork, so we're going to have to rejig that, I think, and use something else. Maybe use it on this tractor. We'll see if it fits. Um, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, we've picked up 2,000 litres with it at least, and uh, it's uh, got some in there. The sheep pen now, so there, happy. Oh dear, I'm not doing very well with keeping straight on this today. Let's get a better angle, that's probably better for viewing. Probably not great for you guys watching, but at least I can manage it a bit better. And I've not had too much of an issue with the uh, grass turning to hay and hay turning to alfalfa and all that sort of stuff it's it's kind of worked so I'll just keep going with it as it is I think that's bale number three quickly have a look at it slightly different so yeah 4700 litres um, Alfalfa. What does it say? What does it actually say? Ale. Alfalfa hay, yeah. Good. Right, so after we've got these bailed up, we then need to move all our operation over to the grass field and get that cut as well. I'm going to make them into hay bales um, because well they will be more useful later on especially if we get cows um, we can make that into uh, either make it into TMR or if we get beef cattle then I can just feed them that um, and they'll be happy so might have to thinking we might do beef and milk cows because we need the milk we need the milk for the dairy um, and to make butter for our bakery and we need milk for the bakery as well so we will need a bit of both um, but yeah I don't want to have to spend mega bucks on a dairy um, although the one on the map's not a stupid amount of money I think to start with we can definitely uh, invest in our own little one which we'll show you in just a second we'll just finish this uh, this row here that's going to be good uh, good timing just got a wee little slither of hay left that's good Go. And the last little bit in here somewhere. There it is. Great. Right. So that's that. So what have we got in total? Five. Five alfalfa hay bales. That's pretty good. So like I said, we'll um, we'll take all this stuff down to the grass field. I'll quickly show you. So productions wise, um, so I've downloaded a few things obviously. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to install this sawmill this winter, so maybe next episode. And then I've got these ones here. So there's a cheaty version which is um, processes a lot quicker, etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, or we've got the just the straight one which is 10,000 and uh, 
Yeah, I'm thinking we might put this in the farm somewhere over here, maybe. Um, be quite nice. And then that's going to give us uh, gives a place where we can actually start making um, butter, which we will need. So I think what we'll do, we'll take this over to the grass field. We will also grab the Zetor and bring all the other stuff over. And then we'll uh Oop. we'll uh we'll get on with that one. Okay doke, here we go. Got the mowers on to here and we'll get this uh this grass done. So what I think I'll do with this is I think we'll make this into silage. We'll make it in a silage, we can then sell it, uh, which will be good. Um, and that's going to give us a nice uh, nice bit of income as well. And then, yeah, hopefully, in theory, we should have enough um, enough hay to keep the sheep going, or enough product to give the sh keep the sheep going over the winter as well. Um, so I think that's that's maybe the plan. I could have removed this fence but I thought uh, we'll just leave it for now. We'll see how annoying it does get but once I've done this headland we should be fine. Missing bits. Being sloppy today. Okay. That's better. So yeah, we'll get this uh this cut. We'll get it uh windrowed up and then yeah I think well what we might need to do is get um get some something to collect it up loose. Um, what I'm thinking is we might get a forage wagon. I think that's going to be the, the way forward, isn't it? So I think what I'll do... I'll get this cut. Um, and then... We'll probably finish the episode there. And... Yeah, we'll... Um, next episode we'll get this collected and then we'll be into winter and we can uh, we can look at possibly doing some forestry stuff That's a better run of it, isn't it? There we go. Less awkward. Right, okay, so we've got the headland done. Now it's time for... I might do one slight edge around here, actually, and then that should... Um, cause we've missed a few tufts here and there, haven't we? Right, I'll get the rest of this cut. We'll come back in uh, once we're ready to um, collect up, and yeah, we'll get uh, maybe nip to the stores, and we'll um, we'll go and get ourselves a a forage or uh, a yeah a loading wagon of some sort. Ah, welcome back. So, I've run out of fuel. My Zeta tractor has run out of fuel, which 
I don't think I've ever done on Farming Simulator. I've never run out of fuel. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm up here at the stores. We've got ourselves a couple of jerry cans. I've bought myself the SIP Pioneer 20. Um, fantastic. I used to use this on FS19. It's an absolutely fantastic little, uh, little uh, collecting wagon. It is really cheap as well. 3,200 to buy that. And it was 24 for the fuel so I thought I'd just come up with the Jeep because it's quicker uh, come and collect it so I think what we'll do um, we'll get back down to the oh, we'll get back down to the farm um, like I said I'm almost finished cutting the grass in that field and then it just it just died to death and I was like oh, uh, it's really nice. I feel great. So we'll get back to the farm. We'll refuel it, and then uh, we'll we'll get the rest of the grass cut. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back down there. Right, just back to the grass field then, and yeah, we'll uh, get this fuel over here. I've taken the fence back over to the alfalfa field, and I've started baling the. They're just plain alfalfa because I just thought, well, it's easier than having it loose, and uh, yeah, it is what it is, as a, a, a good friend would, would say. So, let's get that over here, and get some fuel in this, this little tractor. It's a bit better, I can actually move now. May as well put this one in. Oh, what have I done here? That's better. That's the other side. There we go. Right. Drop that there. Jump in there. And uh, we'll get rid of that. Right, that's looking better fuel-wise. Better turn this off before uh, we have issues fuel-wise on this one as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's getting quite low as well. I've got um, high fuel usage on this Let's Play, so uh, yeah, it's no wonder it's run out. It's quite good. Like I said, I've never run out of fuel on FS. Um, so, the first for me. Right, let's get the rest of this grass cut, um, and uh, yeah, I think we'll probably finish the episode there. I did intend to get this wind road up and uh, everything else, but I think what we'll do, we'll just uh, we'll finish the episode there. Next episode, we'll get. I'll. You'll probably have this wind road, um, and we'll probably have the alfalfa all bailed up. And then next episode we can collect all this up, put it into a bunker, and get it uh, and get it fermenting. And then the the sunflower field will need mulching. Although we're not putting any crop in it until the new year, so we've got a little bit of time on that. Um, it doesn't need anything else though, um, so it doesn't need ploughing and it doesn't need lime. Um, so it literally just needs mulching and then we can direct drill it and then yeah, get some fertiliser on it. So it's not going to take a great deal of work, although it is quite a big field. So what I'll probably do is I will, instead of using our little mulcher, I might rent a bigger mulcher just because it's going to be easier. And then, yeah, we'll do that next episode. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you are more than welcome to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, which will be probably after my holes. But for the time being, take care and we will see you soon. All the best. <laughs>